The light beings rule over knowledge, information, and creation. Okay? Um, one of the best ways to understand how the energy of these ultraviolet beings, remember, remember ultraviolet is a, a high spectrum of light. Pretty much down here is the highest spectrum of light. Um, that's why they're called ultraviolets, ultraviolet beings, because, and that's why you have archangels, cherubims, uh, uh, um, cherubim, sephirim. These are different levels of angels. So an uh, angel, uh, a sephirim angel doesn't compare to a ultraviolet like Lucifer, right? We talked about this before. I talked to you guys about Lucifer and how Lucifer is an ultraviolet angel, okay? High level frequency. And also how Lucifer is actually a woman or has more of a feminine energy. And this is why Lucifer can, connect, can be connected to Venus, right? Venus is connected to love, the love frequency, which is what? The highest form of, the highest frequency in the universe, right? So when you look deeper into Lucifer or Venus, and we all know Venus at one time was called planet Lucifer. When you look deeper, Venus is called the bright and morning star, just like Lucifer. When you look deeper into these things, and it's a reason why Venus is connected to music and beauty and love, right? Very importantly, love. Love is the highest frequency in the universe, like we just said. But also, love is the fabric of reality. It is something that just happens in your reality. You don't control it. And we talk, I talked about this before about love, how it's almost hard to understand and explain because you don't never choose it. Right. I want you all to really think about that for a second. You have so-called free will, which we all do, but you can't choose who you love. That's how powerful that, <laughs> that's how powerful love is. You can choose who you hate. You can choose who you whatever. It's a choice. When love comes into the picture, you can try your hardest. You can't choose to not. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That person that you can't stand no more. You want to leave them alone, but you still love them. That's how powerful love is. It, it can shape and form your reality against your will. So I want y'all to let that marinate for a second, right? So love is a high level frequency of light that is looked at as an ultraviolet and looked at as a, a dark energy because love is an energy that you can't perceive. Anything you can't perceive is called dark. So when a scientist talk about uh, the fabric of the universe, which we call dark matter or dark energy, they're talking about love. It's something that's unperceivable. Love gold is intertwined with dark energy. To prove that, well, I can't really prove it, but to help you guys understand deep into the philosophy of things, alchemists, when you deal with alchemy, I told you guys this before, you transmute things with love. Even internally, once you become an alchemist on the inside and you want to learn how to transform your energy, you need to focus on love. Love can transmute any energy. That's, what, that's why they say love conquers all. It really does. If you learn how to control the most powerful form of energy in the universe, you can be unstoppable. This is why alchemists are so feared, a real alchemist. And this is why the high priest in Egypt couldn't leave Egypt because they were alchemists. They can transform reality at will. That's love, family. When you can put love into like a pen, right? If you take a pen and you put love into it, you can change the frequency of this pen. You're changing the dark matter. There's dark matter to help create this pen, right? Everything is associated with dark matter and dark energy. So if you can get into that vibration and transmute this, you're doing it with love by learning how to harness and control the love frequency. Ultraviolets can do that. Ain't nobody going to deny love is the most powerful frequency in the universe. Ain't nobody going to deny it. If they do, they're crazy. Or it's a troll just trying to get you pissed off, right? Nobody who really has an understanding of the way science works, the way metaphysics work, the way energy works, the highest frequency is love. Right? There's no most there's no more powerful frequency in dealing with, especially dealing with emotion. Right? There's no more powerful emotion than love. Right? It's hard to even put a, a, a pin on what love is, even in a frequency, because it's too powerful. So powerful.